this was a phase two study of HER3 DXD or patritumab deruxtecan as it's called. This is our HER3 targeting antibody drug conjugate. So you can mentally file this in your mind as trastuzumab deruxtecan or in HER2, same linker, same payload, uh, but instead of targeting HER2, it's targeting HER3 now. So this uh, particular trial, we enrolled uh, patients that had HER2 negative breast cancers, so both hormone receptor positive as well as triple negative patients, and reported uh, safety and data from Part A, the first 60 patients enrolled here. One of our big goals was to look at estrogen receptor uh, expression, so triple negative, ER low, ER high, as well as HER3 expression, uh, and see you know which patients are the ones that are really benefiting from patritumab deruxtecan. What we saw was the overall response rate was 35% uh, across all of these categories, all patients. We did not see any increase in activity if patients had HER3 high expression, so 75% or above, compared to low, which was defined as 25 to 74, or even HER3 negative, less than 25. We also saw that HER3 negative is very rare, only four patients out of the 60. And in fact, the majority of patients are actually HER3 high. We also saw activity across both ER positive as well as triple negative patients. Safety and tolerability really was quite good. Uh, the most common side effects were nausea, fatigue, and diarrhea. Um, all grade, any grade nausea, so even very mild grade one nausea, um, all grade nausea was only 50%. And more severe nausea, grade three, four, was only 3%. So I think we're really doing a good job uh, in terms of this class of antibody drug conjugates now with some prophylactic antiemetics and controlling nausea. Both fatigue and diarrhea for all grades was less than half of patients. Uh, so really appeared to be a well-tolerated regimen. Moving forward, we're enrolling into two uh, different cohorts now. Part B was the expansion cohorts, and we're enrolling uh, hormone receptor positive patients, agnostic to HER3 status, and specifically patients that have already seen an antibody drug conjugate. So sasituzumab gavotecan or trastuzumab deruxtecan, and really getting at this question of sequencing ADCs, and are we gonna see the same activity for an ADC if they've already had one? Similar, we're enrolling our arm that's triple negative, uh, the same post sasituzumab or trastuzumab deruxtecan agnostic to HER3. And then we also have a special cohort, Part D, uh, Z. So this is patients that have HER2 positive disease and have already seen trastuzumab deruxtecan. Uh, so really enrolling all three types of breast cancer now, hormone receptor positive, triple negative, as well as HER2 positive.